as a Italian American Gen Z um, okay. college student, um, okay. what would you say are kind of some challenges that you either are currently going through or you could see potentially going through in the future um, as you kind of develop career and work and all and all of that um, that might have be impacted a bit with your with your Italian American identity and values and, and all that mm -hmm. right yeah no good question um, I think probably a big thing would be like networking because you know in this time you know technology is a big thing so you know there's platforms like LinkedIn or you know Facebook like all these different social media platforms where you can connect and while making those connections allows you to you know, eventually go on interviews and like that's how you can get jobs that way. So I guess, you know, I guess a way that my Italian American background would influence that, I guess, you know, like I said earlier, you know, no one in my family has ever really had to like use those platforms. Like they would network more by mouth and stuff. Like nowadays you can easily do that online. And also I guess it goes back to like that super stupid superstition, if I'm saying that right. Like, you know, like, no one's gonna know your business, like that kind of like mentality. So it's almost like I was kind of instilled, like, you know, don't tell no one nothing, like, you know, like as then they use it against you. So it's kind of like, you know, like if I'm gonna go on these platforms and like show them my whole resume and everything I've done, it's almost like, yo, but it's gonna be hush hush, you know. So it's kind of like it's different, you know, like I mean. I don't know, I guess, no, like, can you agree with me? I guess, like, it's almost like, you know, like, don't tell no one nothing, like, they can, like, use that against you, so it's kind of like, you know, the, the, the malachia, the evil eye, so I guess, like, I've just, <laughs> it's so funny, this relates, because it kind of relates to, like, you know, the, you know, development, professional development, because, like, now, here I am, you know, you know, what happened? Totally, yeah. <laughs> you know, I have LinkedIn, I'm trying to, like, you know, like, you know, put all my information, like, my experience and stuff out there, you know, but maybe my grandparents, they might feel like, no, like, they, they can't know that stuff, like, no, don't tell people, like, that's private, you know, but now the society, it's like, you're supposed to, like, that's how people are supposed to know you, and they can hire you for jobs and connect with people that way, so I guess that kind of relates, you know, but yeah, so it's also like, you know, you're afraid, they're afraid for people to know things about you, but so I guess that could be like a little challenge, like, you know, like, you know, using these social media platforms and trying to network and put myself out there, you know, I guess that can be a little challenging, you know, I'm sure a lot of other people, you know, feel that way. And that's why that's what's great about this organization, because this will allow us to discuss those fears and, you know, what we're going through, because you're not alone, you know, there's plenty of things that I fear and that I'm scared of, you know, even applying to grad school, I'm going to be the first in my family to do that. I don't know how to do that. So I guess being able to connect with other people who feel that way, it's, it's like, it's nice because you can, you know, empower each other and help each other and we'll get through it. So that's why I love this organization. I think it's great. It's just great. <laughs> and I, I absolutely love what you said <laughs> about LinkedIn and networking because, you know, I, I don't think I mentioned it before, um, like my background and, and, and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> go on my LinkedIn and check it out. Um, but uh, I just, you know, <laughs> but yes, but the reason why I bring it up is that my background is being a career and brand strategist and um, teaching those things um, in the, on the higher education level. And that's why I'm so passionate about this organization, being able to do that, not just with the people who kind of like pay tuition to work with me, but kind of widening that out um, and like being able to offer those resources to different types of people um but it's so funny how you talked about like because my whole thing is like i teach you about like personal branding and all that stuff but like so much of that is basically how could you put as much of yourself out there as possible like how could you like document like everything that you're doing to get followers and, like all that stuff and i love the idea of like your grandmother being like, don't tell anybody. <laughs> so it's like hard sometimes. Like people are like, what? Well, it's so weird. Like it's I strange. Totally, what no, I mean? I totally like, get it. I totally get it. <laughs> like my mom was scared. To, like now she's fine with it. But at first, like she was scared to go on Zoom because she's like, people could hack that and like know what you're talking about. I'm like, mom, I'm not saying you're wrong, but like, what are you having a meeting about? That's that's like like. 
like, but I, t- I totally get, she's like, sh- that idea of like putting yourself out there and mm-hmm. like, whether it's like pictures, stuff about your career, or, like whatever, is right. the Italian American community is a very like insular community, not just community, like the whole community, but like family to family, right. like, full of people. It's mm-hmm. very much like, don't tell, and like, when you just said, don't tell anyone, 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 anything that could use it against you. Like, my mom says that her parents said that like that exact quote is a hundred percent and it's very much and this is another challenge for italian americans with networking is it very much comes from this place of don't tell anyone anything they could use it against you where networking Mm -hmm. is literally like the opposite concept it's like tell everyone everything about you because it can op- it could lead to an opportunity like right? it's such a completely different way of looking at stuff um so and not that italian americans ha- from a traditional point of view haven't networked like you said like your, you know your father networked but it was often through family or through mm-hmm. very very close people um and that's fine but it limits you to whatever that is like if you're not mm-hmm. you're like yeah but i don't want to do things that those people know about yeah. um but yeah, so Italian Americans use their own LinkedIn. That needs to be their, their own, <laughs> and they need to know basis. <laughs> so well, funny. We have the, well for the organization for the Italian American Leadership um, Network. We just started our own uh, private LinkedIn group, <laughs> and um, that's something that Christina is working on. And you're just giving me so many like ideas, like for things to post. Yeah, like, this is great. I'm loving like, this. <laughs> I can see if, if you'd be like, oh, like, no, where do you live? Like, what do you like? What do you do? Like, what's your career? It's like, who's asking? Who wants to? <laughs> How is it in any of your business? It's like, what? I love I can, this. I can see like members being being like, oh, what? so like, what do you do for a living? It's just like, don't worry about it. Don't right, worry about right, it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> my business is not your business don't worry about it oh my god this so is great funny. right i'm glad we can like be able to like be aware of these like comparisons you know italian linkedin idea of linkedin to you know society's linkedin you know we need I, to come up we need to come up with a name for italian linkedin I don't, what would it be uh like, who's asking dot com or something <laughs> who's asking dot i love that i love that <laughs> oh, so funny. Don't tell anybody about your business. <laughs> Don't say nothing. <laughs> Don't say nothing. <laughs> Don't say nothing. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is good. You stuff. have to like. Wow. You have to like get to know the person before they can see your profile. It's like exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, do you know someone oh, who knows my friend who knows my friend? Okay, they yeah, right. <laughs> If you're, if you're not a paisan, that's it. You're not allowed. <laughs> your, your, mom, your mom has to approve all of your connections. It's so true, though. Like, honestly, it's so true. <laughs> someone, like, requests, like, someone, like, requests to, like, be on LinkedIn with you, like, to, like requests to be a connection, but the re- uh, connection, like, the request doesn't go to you. It goes to your mom. It's like, it's like, oh, <laughs> Your boss wants to be on LinkedIn with you. It's like, how do you know that? <laughs> I feel like it has such a similar, like, because even, like, with my phone, like, you know, like, my mom knows my password. Like, she, like, will go, I have nothing to hide, but, like, she knows all my contacts. Like, she'll look through my messages, you know, like, so, like, she, so one time my phone was, like, in the kitchen. I was, like, in my room, and so I guess something popped up, and she's like, Christina, like, this one texted you. Are you going tomorrow? I'm like, what? Like, what? She already, like, <laughs> like, you know, it's like, <laughs> It's gotta go through her and then it goes through me, you know. But it's so funny. It's so true. It's funny. It's so, it's so funny, but I love that the the request goes to your mom. You don't even know it. Like you don't even know. Like no one's like requesting to like like me on this on on this platform. It's just like no, they're all just going to your mom. Like you'll find out. Oh. She'll let you know if she wants you to know if she approves of them. You'll get like a hundred requests, but she'll only tell you about <laughs> five. Like she's gonna Google each one and be like, I don't like these ones. <laughs> These five are fun. <laughs> yes. I'm like, laughing, but it's something that will probably happen. Like, it's so true. We're not even, like, making this up. Like, it's, like, reality. Yeah. I don't like oh, this one. Man. I don't know why. I just don't like yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. 